welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. Nowadays, I'm exploring the Enable's Airbus A330 in the simulator and in this regard, I'm making a series of videos for this plane so that I can just break down the information related to a flight into different videos which will make it easy for you to look for a specific information on my channel. Before this, I've uploaded three videos in which I've shown you how to uh, configure the Thrustmaster TCA quadrant and how to configure the EFB and the MCD of this plane and how to start this plane from the cold and dark state. Now this video is related to uh, the takeoff and uh, plus how to fly this plane on autopilot. So today I'm doing this uh, short flight from uh, Qatar to Dubai. I actually wanted to get the Qatar delivery but I don't know when I'm selecting the Qatar delivery uh, in the configuration my, the simulator is crashing. So I'm using the default one as you can see it on your screens. So it's a good plane and uh, it's just like the Airbus A320 uh, Neo. Uh, the controls all are almost the same. But if you want to carry out some long haul flight, then this is a very good plane. So now if you look at the screens, uh, uh, I will be taking off from runway 34, right? And after this, I have to get up to this altitude 500 feet because at this point, 500 feet and above is the altitude required. Then at this point, uh, more than 2500 and the speed 230 knots. The plane is right now in the manage mode, so I really don't have to worry about it. Uh, the autopilot will automatically take care of it. Uh, but uh, during the flight, I will tell you how you can switch between the manage mode and the selected mode and how you can just uh, fly this plane in different modes. Uh, right now, you can see uh, this uh, part of the prime flight display. This is actually the FMA flight mode and theater. So whatever the uh, flight mode this plane is in, you will get all this information over here on the FMA. Right now, flight director one and two is active. That's it. And uh, navigation and climb is armed. Uh, this is uh, the V1 speed, 136 knots. And after this, um, I have to, you know, take this plane up in there, pull back on the stick. This is the speed and the plane will try to achieve just right after the takeoff because this is the V2 speed. Um, the plane has to be at this speed if, in case uh, if one engine fails and you just want to come back and land again. That's it. I will move the, uh, the, the thrust levers to this option, flex to temp for the takeoff and uh, that's it. So everything is looking good so far. If you look at the upper ECAM, everything is good. Auto brake is set to max, signs are on, keep them ready, spoilers are armed, flaps are set to takeoff and uh, takeoff configuration is normal. So let's uh, release the parking brakes. First of all, I will just give 50% of power. I will just move it to this uh, point and then I will give thrust and release the brakes. So let's move it here. Wait for the engines to spool, release the brakes and then move the thrust levers to flex. So flex to temp is 97%. You can see flex is also locked. V1, VR and V, uh, v this is V1, VR and V2 are the same. So now V1 and uh, this is VR. Let's rotate and take this plane up in the air. Try not to uh, go more than this 10 or 15 degrees. That's it. Now, positive rate of climb, gears up. Now with this, I can activate the autopilot and then just take you a few, th a few uh, through a few things. As you can see, this is uh, the speed. You can retract the flaps and the slats. But right now, the speed is reducing. So I will not retract the slats. And lever, let's move it to climb. Crossed 1,500. That's it. Now the speed is increasing. So above this speed, I can track the flaps. This is the green dot speed, the speed at which the plane can 
fly without any flaps and slats. Now you can see as uh, the plane is in the manage mode all for the speed, for the heading and for the altitude. So the autopilot is doing all its job. Over here, there's also a constraint. Uh, the plane uh, should be at 4,000 feet or below, and the speed is 250 knots. So now you can see the plane is actually leveling off at 4,000 feet because over here there's a constraint, and uh, the speed is 230 knots over here at this point. You can look at the flight plan over here in the MCDU. If you see this uh, star with the magenta color, it means the plane will be following this uh, constraint for the altitude and for the speed. But if it's not in magenta color, then it means the plane will miss it. But right now, the plane has leveled off at 4,000 feet because over here the constraint is above 2,500 uh, feet and over here less than 4,000. So it has just leveled off at 4,000. If I bring up uh, the electronic flight bag, you will also see these constraints over here. So now the plane will turn right, heading 100 degrees. After this point, the speed should also increase. And now you can see the speed is now 250 knots because uh, below 10,000 feet, speed should be 250 or less than that and as you can see this arrow is appearing over here it means that after this the plane will start to climb again now let's see where this uh, top of descent is right now over here so this is the top of descent and we have another constraint for the altitude over here flight level 210 which is 21,000 feet and this point should be at 21,000 feet or below. Elson, it's over here. That's it. So as uh, we have a very short time, so maybe after this point, I can just like ignore this uh, altitude constraint and uh, I can just uh, take you through the different uh, modes of the autopilot of this uh, plane. Now, first of all, I will set the altitude to 10,000 feet and I will just tell you the difference between the manage mode for the altitude and the selected mode. So right now, uh, the plane is climbing in the manage mode. So I had uh, set this uh, altitude to 25,000 feet, but you can see it's following all the constraints because it's in the manage mode. But if I just take it in the uh, selected mode, you can see now the plane is in the open climb mode, uh, which means that uh, it will not follow any altitude constraint. So this is actually the selected mode or the open climb mode. And uh, now you have uh, this altitude on your screen in cyan color, uh, 10,000 feet. And you can see this arrow also, which tells you that by this point, the plane will be at this given altitude. And plus you also see this magenta dot, which means the speed will also increase because at this point the plane will be at 10,000 feet. So the speed can be more than 250 knots. So this is uh, the manage mode for the altitude and the selected mode. Now there is also another option, vertical speed. So right now you can see that the plane is giving priority to the speed. Um, it's uh, uh, locking the speed, but it's changing the vertical speed. So the climb rate keeps on changing uh, throughout the flight. As uh, the plane goes up, the air gets thinner. So that's why you cannot have a very high vertical speed. It has to be reduced. But uh, you can take control of the vertical speed. If you look at this knob, you bring your cursor over here and you press it. Now you have the control for the vertical speed. So now instead of the open climb, vertical speed has started to appear. So if I right now want to have a very high 
the vertical speed or the aggressive vertical speed because let's say I want to climb up to a certain altitude in the shortest time and the distance so I can change it it's not letting me actually do it <laughs> because the speed is getting compromised so this is actually what, what I wanted to show and now the plane is leveling off at 10,000 maybe I can just like again uh, go up to 20,000 and uh, let me just let me just adjust it again to 4,000 and let's see what happens because in this mode, uh, the priority is given to the vertical speed and the speed is no longer the priority. So you can see now the plane is aiming for 4,000 feet per minute, the climb rate, and you can see the speed is reducing. So you can climb at this rate, but obviously the speed will keep on reducing and at some point the plane will stall. So that's why you have to reduce the vertical speed and you have to keep it in such a way or adjust it in such a way that uh, the speed keeps on increasing so this is the vertical speed mode and now you can see at this uh, vertical speed the plane is not only climbing but also the speed is increasing so you can uh, just go back to the manage mode just bring your cursor over here as soon as you see the up arrow just press it and the plane is now in the manage mode now you can see the QNH is blinking you have to adjust the altimeter just uh, go to standard both of the sides it's standard and over here you can also set it to standard for the secondary display of the PFD now you can see that uh, the plane is aiming for 305 knots and uh, plus the vertical speed is now 1100 feet per minute that's it now you can also adjust the speed uh, right now it's in the manage mode uh, you can bring your cursor as soon as you see the down arrow you can just go into the manage mode, uh, selected mode so let's say if I reduce the speed now you can see that the speed will reduce and uh, the climb rate has increased so right now the priority is obviously the speed but uh, the autopilot is actually adjusting the vertical speed in such a way that the speed reduces and once the plane is at this speed then the vertical speed will also reduce and uh, the vertical speed then will, will be adjusted so that the speed doesn't go below 280 or more than this. Let's wait for it. Now you can see the speed is now at 280 knots and the vertical speed is getting adjusted. So in the vertical speed mode, the priority was given to the vertical speed and in this mode, the priority is given to uh, the speed and that's it i can just go back to the manage mode now for the lateral navigation right now it's in the manage mode the plane is following this flight plan i can bring the cursor over here and now the plane is in the heading mode so whatever the current heading of the plane is right now it's locked over here whenever you just bring your cursor here now you can see the flight plan is appearing as a dotted line and the plane is deviating from the flight plan as now I'm flying in the manage mode and you can see the deviation is appearing over here 0.3 nautical miles towards the right side I can bring the cursor over here as soon as I see the up arrow I can press it and the plane will be back in the manage mode and it will start to follow this flight plan so let's go back to the heading mode and let's uh, deviate from the flight plan Now the deviation is one nautical mile towards the right side and uh, let's see if I go back in the manage mode for the lateral navigation you will see that the plane is not going back and uh, right now the plane is in the open climb mode as I have deviated from the flight plan so that's why uh, for the climb there is no manage mode it's already in the open climb mode it automatically goes to this point and uh, plus uh, heading in nav so right now the plane is in the heading mode I want to go back to the managed heading mode or the navigation mode which is armed but right now the plane is not following the flight plan in order to do this I have to change the heading and intercept this line so now you can see that uh, the heading is shown and plus you see this uh, circle which means 
that till the time the plane uh, intercepts this line, it will keep on flying in the heading mode and once it intercepts, then it will automatically go into the managed mode for the lateral navigation. So let's uh, wait for it. Maybe I can just do it more. Let's wait for it. So that's how you fly uh, this plane in the heading mode. Let me adjust it. And uh, let's keep it over here. 60 degrees. Now I'm going to intercept this line. Deviation is 1.2 nautical miles towards the right side from the flight plan. And now you can see this nav has started to appear, which means the plane is now in the managed mode for the lateral navigation. And it has now started to follow the flight plan. And now you can see that 60 also has disappeared from here. So now it's in the managed mode. Now I can uh, climb up to 25,000 feet again in the managed mode as the plane is following it. So that's why. I am the managed mode. I can just ignore this uh, uh, altitude constraint because, uh, as I've told you before, it's a very short flight and soon uh, the top of descent will be near, as you can see. So before this, I just wanted to show you one thing. So now the plane is climbing and if I bring my cursor over here and uh, once I see the up arrow, if I click it, you will see vertical speed zero and the plane will level off. So if at any point you want to level off, you can do this. So let's say at this point, I should be below 21,000 feet. The plane was going for 25, uh, 21, 25,000 feet, but I've leveled it off at 20,600 feet. And maybe after this, I can again bring the cursor over here. As soon as I see the up arrow, I can press it and the plane will climb to 25,000 feet. Let's see. As I've crossed it, I can just go back to manage mode and the plane will start to climb again. And uh, by this point, the plane will be at 25,000 feet. That's it. So this was a short uh, video. I uh, just wanted to show you that uh, how the manage mode and uh, the selected mode work for this plane. As the plane is above 10,000 feet, I can <laughs> disarm the ground spoilers. I should have done it before. Um, and. Uh, just turn off the lights, they are not no longer required, and that's it. Strobe is set to auto, beacon is on, nav and logo is on. I can also turn off the logo, and that's it. Right now the nav light is on in this setting. So hopefully this was a useful video for you. Now you can just uh, change and, uh, the, the modes for the autopilot for this plane, and then you can just fly this uh, plane on your own. Uh, this um, selected mode for the heading is very interesting once you are uh, flying an approach which has a discontinuity or if you're flying with the ATC then in, it, it's it's really fun uh, flying this plane uh, on, on, on the selected mode for the heading and the managed mode for the lateral navigation. If you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add uh, anything to this video the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for watching it. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.